Greetings, this is Brent Maxwell, meteorologist with the National Weather Service in San Diego, California, with a briefing for the winter storm system coming up Tuesday and New Year's Eve. Note the picture in the background. It sure looks like a Denver or Salt Lake City suburb, doesn't it? Well, the reality is it's Yukaipa back in 2004 when they had accumulating snowfall. That could very well happen with this storm system, and that might be what the view will look like in Yukaipa this coming Wednesday. First of all, let's talk about the impacts of this storm, which will start Tuesday afternoon with some showers, and then the main part of the storm will occur Tuesday night and Wednesday. We'll have possible heavy snow in the mountains with low snow levels, possibly as low as 2,000 feet, especially over inland parts of Southern California, such as the Inland Empire. Snow could occur in places like Yukaipa, Beaumont, the north end of Rancho Cucamonga, and also the high desert. Interstates 8, 15, and possibly even Interstate 10 will be impacted by snow through the mountains and over the passes. At lower elevations, we'll have rain, mostly from showers with brief heavy rainfall, but overall the rainfall rates will not be that great, mostly one quarter to one half inch. And there will be a chance of a few thunderstorms, mainly near the coast, Tuesday night into Wednesday. It will definitely be cold with highs only in the upper 40s and 50s at lower elevations Wednesday and Thursday. That means below freezing up in the mountains, with breezy conditions over Southern California that will make it feel even colder, especially in the mountains where there will be a wind chill. There will be frost possible in the valleys and the deserts again on Wednesday and Thursday night, much like what we had the past several nights. And confidence is now high that the storm will impact us from late Tuesday through Wednesday. Let's take a look at this large upper level trough coming down from Canada. You can see this map for Tuesday morning shows a trough extending from Hudson Bay, that is really cold up there, through North Dakota into Northern California. And that trough is going to move south into Southern California by Tuesday night. And note that this trough originated from Canada, and whenever that happens, our storm is going to be quite cold. If we look at what's called the NOAA High Split Model, we take a look at backward trajectories. This is sort of an interesting map to look at. We can pick a point, and in this case I picked the Inland Empire, and we can pick some elevations above the surface. For instance, the red point, our ending point, is at 1,500 feet above the surface over the Inland Empire, and the blue and green lines basically end at 6,500 feet and 13,000 feet above the Inland Empire. All three of these trajectories go back through places much further north than we are, with some of these trajectories coming out of the far northern areas like northern Yukon. Let's take a look at our precipitation forecast. Like I mentioned before, a lot of areas will have about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch of of rainfall at lower elevations, with some areas getting more precipitation, primarily those areas getting snow in the mountains. And if you have an inch of liquid equivalent, then that results in about 10 inches of snow. And there's our snowfall forecast, and we do have a few spots in Riverside and even San Diego County that could have 10 inches or more of snow, for the most part, the mountains are going to have 4 to 8 inches of snowfall. But note that the mountains aren't the only place that are going to have snow. You can see in the high deserts, we have about 2 inches projected, and it could snow even a little bit more because we have some northeast winds going on during the storm. And for the high deserts of San Bernardino County, that means that you have the upslope flow. So perhaps we'll get a little bit more than two inches in some parts of the high desert. Also notice a few spots in the Inland Empire and in the Santa Ana Mountains and also just east of Alpine where we'll have some snow falling in places where it doesn't usually fall. 
Let's take a look at the moisture and wind streamlines for Wednesday morning. In this case, we have a lot of moisture about 7,000 feet above sea level over far southern California, but we can see that some of the north flow coming in will bring somewhat drier conditions there. So most of the rainfall and snowfall will end during the day Wednesday with only a few showers lingering Wednesday night and Thursday. But those temperatures are going to be quite cold this week, especially Wednesday and Thursday. Note that San Diego Lindbergh Field will have highs only in the upper 50s starting on Wednesday. And the last time that Lindbergh Field did not hit 60 during a day was back on December 19th, 2013, when the high was 59 degrees. See Ontario... They have a high projected of only 50 on Wednesday, and if Ontario fails to hit 50 on Wednesday, which I think is a distinct possibility, the last time that that happened was January 22, 2010, when the high was 49. So that's almost five years ago. Big Bear, yeah, it's going to be really cold on Wednesday and Thursday with highs only in the lower 20s, and it's possible that Big Bear could hit zero on Wednesday night. So if you're up there skiing, definitely bundle up. Or if you're down here in San Diego, or if you're in Orange County, or the Inland Empire, or the Lower Deserts, and you're going to go out on New Year's Eve to party, it's going to be quite cold, probably temperatures well into the 40s by midnight, if not even a little bit colder than that. So definitely bundle up if you're down at lower elevations as well. The summary of course, when is the storm going to happen? Tuesday afternoon through Thursday, but the focus will be Tuesday night through Wednesday. Of course, the what we just described, the snow in the mountains, foothills, and high deserts, and that will result in some dangerous driving conditions. The rainfall at lower elevations will mostly be a quarter to a half inch, and we could get that isolated thunderstorm mainly near the coast. And of course, the cold weather will be the big story as well. Everybody is going to be impacted across Southern California from the coasts through the mountains to the deserts. And of course, I like to ask why. Well, because the storm is coming from Canada, a very northerly origin to bring the cold weather and the low snow levels. And keep in mind that we do have a winter storm watch in effect for all of the mountains and the high deserts. So thank you very much for attending the briefing. And there's these websites here that you can go for more information, especially weather.gov slash San Diego, which gives you lots of information, including our forecast, and you can see the observations as well. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. So thank you very much, and stay warm and stay safe in this winter storm.